want to feel loved, right? You want to feel good enough. If I feel good enough, then I'll be safe. I'll be looked after. I'll be protected. And so often our mechanism to it is we'll find a couple different ways. It's either withdraw and save myself because when I was younger, I tried to get love and I didn't receive the love that I wanted. And then so then I was like, screw that. I'm just going to love myself, right? It becomes this self-preservation because you don't want to get hurt. Or it's fear of abandonment. I don't want to lose that person. So you want to try and control. And that's where somebody here said, people get needy. Who's ever done that where you're acting a certain way, you know that it's not really benefiting the relationship and, and then you get angry at yourself because you know you're doing it, but you don't know how to stop doing it. Who's felt that before? Yep. Damn near everybody. <laughs> right? It's like, you're like, why am I acting like a crazy person? <laughs> So, so I felt, I felt like that too, you know, like with all the self-development work and everything else that you guys see that, that we do and, and all the coaching I do, I still feel that too. This doesn't fully go away. It's like, we have these times where we don't feel like we're really on our own team. But what I'm going to tell you is it does become really tough when you're not on your own team. And Deborah Collins says codependency many times. It's true. Like, this is what we do is we become codependent on that person and that there is such a big sign that you're not staying in your values. So I want you to understand this aligning with your values, what you value most, what you spend most of your time on, most of your money on what you love talking to other people about, right? What you invest your time, money and energy in that there is, is giving you signals and clues as to what it is that inspires you most in life.